In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ZnNO3 2 plus K2S. This is zinc nitrate. This is potassium sulfide. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. I can see that I have two potassium atoms here and just one here. So I think I'll put a two in front of the potassium nitrate. So I have two potassiums, those are balanced. Now I have two nitrate ions. Over here I have two nitrate ions, that's good. Everything else is balanced. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance here. So let's see, nitrates, if you know your solubility rule, NO3, the nitrate, very soluble. It's gonna be aqueous, dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Potassium compounds, very soluble. For sulfides, in general, they are insoluble. That means they won't dissolve in water, with a few exceptions like sodium and potassium sulfide. So since this doesn't dissolve in water, when these two react, we get a solid. It's insoluble, and it's a precipitate, so it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Nitrates, we said, are very soluble, so that's going to be aqueous. So we have the state for each substance. Now we need to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Zinc is always going to be 2 plus, and the nitrate ion here, the whole thing, is going to be 1 minus. Good one to remember. So we have the zinc ion, Zn2 plus, and then we have two of those nitrate ions, two nitrate ions. Potassium is in group 1 on the periodic table. It has a 1 plus ionic charge. The sulfide ion, that's 2 minus. So two potassium ions, and then the sulfide ion. S2 minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So that's going to just be ZnS, and then we have positive negative. So we have two potassium ions, just like in the reactants, and then two nitrate ions, also like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. I can see in the reactants here, I have two nitrate ions and in the products. So let's cross those out. Those are spectator ions. Reactants, we have these two potassium ions. And again, in the products, spectator ions. We cross them out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for zinc nitrate plus potassium sulfide. I'll clean this up, write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for ZnNO3 2 plus K2SO4. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0. And then over here, this is a neutral compound, net charge of 0. Count the atoms up. They're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for ZnNO3 2 plus K2S. Zinc nitrate plus potassium sulfide. Thanks for watching.